Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Bomber 7512-H-652. The 7512H is a louver door gravity pivot with a hold open feature and is comprised of primarily four components. In addition to the screws, four components, I'd like to show them to you one at a time. The bottom portion is here. That's made up of two pieces. The frame portion has this jam bracket surface mounted to the jam. Then the female portion that has a bearing with a notch squared off at the top and that mates with the door portion shown here. Surface mounts to the bottom of the door. You can see that the end of it is squared off. That's what makes this the the H version, the hold open version. So when the door portion mates the uh, to the frame portion, you can imagine when the door is here, and the door, obviously these are double acting. It's, it uh, automatically finds center again. But if you were to open it up to 90 degrees, because of that squared off portion, it will actually stay in, in the open position until it's moved back to center, then it'll close. Okay. The 7512H is representative of what this is. The 652 means that it's in the satin chrome finish. So that's the finish that you're going to get, satin chrome. This portion can be removed from the bottom, not that you would need to, except really during installation you would. And there's a point of me unthreading this. What I want to do before we move forward with the door port, with the uh, top portion, is to show you that it's, you can probably see the bomber logo there. Right above their logo it says Made in USA, a fact that bomber is quite proud of as am I to represent them. Now moving on to the top portion, that's comprised of two items. The, ang uh, the, uh, the jam bracket, again. The door portion. And when this is properly installed, it's going to look just like this. You need to have that space between the bottom of the, the uh, jam bracket and the top of the door portion so that as the door goes through its motion, it's got room to travel. Okay. Then, of course, you're going to be left with uh, the last aspect. That would be the screws, wood screws to match. Okay. Now, referring to the instructions, uh, and there's a link below this video to the instructions, and I'm not going to beleaguer every single point here, um, but just want to highlight on some of the important aspects. Um, steps, you know, one and two really involve just the mounting of the bracket itself. Okay. The, the, the important aspect is step three and that shows the radiusing of the door edge that's an in, uh, that's an incredibly important aspect to the installation of this item you have to more you have to radius the door edge otherwise based on installing the door per the template and the instructions, if my hand was the jam and my fist was the door, the heel edge of the door would bottom out. So what you have to do is radius over the edge of the door so that it can truly double act. The radius of the door has to be related to the door thickness. Meaning, 
the the radius of the of what they're calling out here is seven eighths of an inch. That means the diameter would be inch and three quarter. The thickness of the door can't be any greater than the diameter of what you're radiusing the edge of the door with. So seven eighths uh, for a radius is a safe size to use because this pivot is rated for door thicknesses from 7 eighths to inch and 5 eighths. So if you're using a door between 7 eighths and inch and 5 eighths thick, you won't have a problem using a 7 eighths radius. You can deviate from that, but just such that the radius of your treatment to the edge of the door is not any less than half of the door thickness. So what I'm saying is if you had an inch and three-eighths door, you know, your radius cannot be any less than half of inch and three-eighths because it won't, uh, you won't have enough room for the door to clear. Reach out to me if there's any questions on that. It's very straightforward. Uh, and how I would uh, have, how I have gone about radiusing the door edge is I'd lay the door flat on some sawhorses or on my workbench or whatever it might be, and then I would have a round over bit in my router and I would set that up and I'd run it down the edge of the door and then I would you know turn the door over and do it you know on the on the opposite face of the door and give me a nice curve to the edge of the door think of the top rail the top row of tile in your bathroom that's a bull nose that's like half of a radius so if you had you know just think of that all the way over and that would be the treatment that you would do to the edge of the door as you see right here in step three you could leave the door square, I suppose, but the problem is going to be the margin from the edge of the plate to where the door is going to be, which is basically flush with the edge of the door portion. Your door is not going to open correctly because there's not enough tolerance allowed. Basically, per the uh, template below this video, shows a 5 30 seconds of an inch clearance, and that's basically just heavy on an eighth of an inch so you don't have hardly much room at all. Everything here is surface mounted. These plates are surface mounted to the jam. This is surface mounted to the bottom of the door. The top portion is surface mounted. This is surface mounted to the top of the, uh, to the, top of the door as well. You could mortise this if you wanted to. Just take that into account when you're installing everything, you know, because you know, that's got a specific thickness to it. You just want to take that into account when you're mortising it camera does not want to focus on that. Okay, sorry for that. It's every bit of heavy on an eighth for sure. As you can see in the template, you can install the bottom portion such that it's flush to the bottom of the door or if your door construction allows for it, and in my experience on the template on the right hand side where they notch out the bottom of the door that's very it's an, that's uncommon I don't see that very often um, 530 seconds clearance between the edge of the door and the jam is what you'll accomplish when you install this as standard you can notch out the bottom the edge of the door to the center line of the pivoting, ac pivoting axis is one in uh, one and a sixteenth inch you want to make sure that you're maintaining that. The other important aspect is looking on the template at the travel that you you have to have, and that is when you're installing all of this, when you're attaching this bracket to the jam, you've got to allow yourself three quarter inch from the top of this door plate to the underside of the jam plate, and that again will give you the allowable clearance for this to work correctly. Okay. Very common item. Uh, we sell these all the time. Um, the 7512 is rated for up to 30 inch wide doors and up to 50 pounds. Okay, jam bra bracket is inch and a quarter wide. Okay, and is just a grab what they call a grab a gravity pivot. Just the weight of the door will force it to find back center, real well. Very classic, very common item by Bomber, and uh, that uh, pretty much uh, covers, you know, the important aspects of this. I've installed these many times. I've machined for them by notching out the door. 
many times. And if you have any questions on the bomber 7512H or any other bomber product, please do feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.